Welcome to the beginner series in learning python. Learning python will be one of the best decisions you have ever made. Python is a very powerful yet simple to use programming language. You can create solutions to very complex problems with very few lines of code. Also, the syntax of python is very readable and it is easier to maintain. Many top companies use python because it improves their productivity. It is also a very portable language meaning you can deploy it easily in multiple platforms like Windows, Linux, Mac or any of the mobile devices. For all these reasons, Python is one of the most popular programming languages in the world. Without further ado, let's get started. The first step to learning Python is to have a Python environment where you can write and execute your Python code. This environment can be in your laptop or your computer or it can be online. I recommend you setting it up on your machine first where you can write and execute your code. Ok, how do we get this environment set up on your computer? Let's take a look. Ok, let us go to python.org website. Here I am at this website and under downloads, I will find an option to download the latest version of Python. Since I am on the Windows machine, I am seeing the option to download it for Windows. If you are in a different operating system, you find out how it needs to be done for your operating system. As of this recording, Python 3.10.2 is the latest version and I am getting an option to download this. Let me click on this and I see a .exe file getting downloaded on my machine. I am clicking on it and I see a pop-up for installation. Actually, it is a pop-up for modifying the setup because I already have Python on my machine. But if you are installing it for the very first time, you should see the pop-up for installing it. Follow through the instructions and complete the installation process. While you follow through the instructions, you will also notice that there is a location that will be displayed as to where Python is being installed. Note down this location. Why do we need that? We need to tell Windows that it needs to search in this location as well when we type Python on the command prompt. So copy down this location and we will go to the environmental variables. So search environment in your Windows search bar and you will get an option to edit the system environment variables. Click on this and you see a button for environment variables. Click on that and you have to edit the environment variable called path. Edit this and you will find a list of path which Windows actually searches when any command is typed on the command prompt. Among this list, we need to make sure that we include the path wherever we are installing Python. As you may notice, I have the Python 3.10 version already in my Windows path. If you don't have this location, you have to add a new path and make sure that it is on the top. How do we make sure that Python is installed in our machine? So let's open the command prompt and let's type in Python space hyphen hyphen version. This will tell you the latest version of the Python that is in your system. Actually, this will tell you the version of Python that is in your system. And for us, it happens to be the latest version that we just downloaded. Now that we have installed Python, let us write our very first Python program. When you learn any programming language, the very first program you will be taught to code is the Hello World program. The job of this program is very simple. 
it is to print the sentence hello world onto the console okay let us go to the command prompt and type python and hit enter now we are inside the python environment anything you type in here will be directly interpreted by python and executed we said we will be writing the hello world program to do that i am going to make use of a function called print print is an inbuilt function within python it already has the code within it as to how to print a content onto the console so we are going to make use of that print function so print and a function is always followed by a parenthesis like this and now we need to tell this function what we want to print and that information will be passed inside this parenthesis and we call them as arguments so inside this parenthesis i am going to tell that it needs to print the statement hello world so within this parenthesis i am going to pass a string and the string will be represented by a content within double quotes and here i am going to have the sentence hello world okay. so we have a function called print followed by a parenthesis and inside the parenthesis i am providing the argument which is the hello world string and the print function is supposed to take in this argument that we provided and print it on the console so let us hit enter and you can see that it immediately printed that statement on the console we just executed our very first python program and to come outside of this python environment we have to use another function called quit again a function has to be followed by a parenthesis so it is quit followed by a parenthesis and hit enter so we are back on the windows command prompt be honest what we did above is not truly a program it is just a python function given directly to the python interpreter typically a program is a set of instructions written on a file and that file has to be invoked by the operating system so let us write a real program i have created a new folder python tutor and i suggest you create a new folder for yourself and start creating your programs within this folder so let me create a file here you can create your file with your favorite textpad or notepad whichever text editor you choose so i am going to use notepad to create my first python program so let me invoke notepad space let's give the file name it can be hello world and all the python programs will have the extension .py and and this doesn't have to be the only way to create a file you can just go to your windows directory and you can create this um file interactively too so it asks me if i want to create a new file yes okay so here i can have the very same function print and i can say hello world okay. so i can leave it as the only instruction inside this file a print function and we are giving our argument called hello world since it is a string it is within the double quotes and that's it we can save this file 
and we can exit. So we are back in the command prompt. Now we can invoke this file by saying Python and then giving the file name, which is hello world.py. Let's hit enter. As you can see, we got the same result. The statement hello world printed on the console. So this time we created a real program which is the hello world.py, a file which contains the Python instructions, and we executed this file from the command prompt with the command Python followed by the file name. So we successfully executed our first Python program here.